So I don't usually like to talk about celebrity news, but because this one has political implications, I thought that it was necessary for me to discuss it, particularly because I like to discuss issues related to the LGBT community. Now, Caitlyn Jenner is someone who I was very excited about. So when Bruce Jenner came out and revealed that uh, she's transgender, well, I thought that this was great because this is an individual who is extremely wealthy. This person, this person has the resources to potentially really make an impact and speak out on behalf of the transgender community. But slowly but surely, Caitlyn Jenner keeps speaking and she's proving why she's not a great voice for the transgender community. Now, Caitlyn Jenner, as you all know, she's not just someone who's transgender. She's a very vocal transgender activist, as she should be. I admire that about her. But she admitted that she's going to be voting for a Republican in the 2016 race. A Republican. Let me let me put this all in perspective, so I'm going to rephrase it. Transgender activists voting Republican. Transgender Republican. Activists Republican. Those are mutually exclusive categories. Like if you're a transgender activist, you don't vote Republican. You run away from them. So the fact that she is voting Republican I don't understand how you rationalize that. So she says, after tuning into the second Democratic debate, she said, quote, they didn't convince me and stated that she still intends to vote for a Republican. So Caitlin, I'm not sure if you got the memo, but the Republican Party doesn't like you. They don't like the community that you're fighting for. Your community, the transgender community, or at large, the LGBT community. They don't like you. So by voting for them, you are harming the community you are fighting to help. So your own actions are at odds with each other. It doesn't make sense. The goal of the Republicans is to further marginalize and fearmonger over the community that you're fighting for. It doesn't make any sense, man. It really doesn't make sense. Yet you're still gonna vote for them. They've spoken out against transgender rights. They still aren't even keen to the idea of gay rights in 2015. What do you expect? Do you think that you can convince them? To just all of a sudden support transgender rights? Mm -mm. I don't think so. Uh, if you think that, you're naive. Now, you may have lived most of your life as a rich white man, but you'd think that the fact that you are a transgender individual, one of the most marginalized groups of people in our society, well, you'd think that would reorient you and make you more sensitive to the needs of your own community. But to vote Republican means you would hurt your own community. Now, the reason why I say this is because the Republicans are against policies that help the transgender community. First and foremost, there's a huge, significant portion of the transgender population that are homeless, particularly uh, transgender women of color or transgender men of color. They are severely marginalized. The Republicans want to make it more difficult for those types of individuals to become eligible. They want to say, well, look, if you're in school, if you don't have kids, it's going to be really difficult for you to get welfare benefits. They like doing these kinds of things. They don't necessarily target the transgender community as much as they used to, but their policies indirectly impact the community in a very significant way, and their policies are detrimental to the rights of transgender people. So my hope that, uh, Caitlyn Jenner would be the Ellen DeGeneres of the transgender community. Is It's just fully dashed. She crushed it with this. You can't support a party that is unequivocally against your rights. It just doesn't make sense. It's, it's dim-witted. So the fact that you're voting Republican, you can't call yourself a transgender activist. You can do what you can to help them, but just know that by voting for that party, you're also hurting them. You're so dumb. You are really dumb. For real.